hey guys and welcome back and if you haven't watched yesterday's video pause this video now and go watch it all right so i'm going to be using some products from meal organics i'm going to use their pomegranate and honey line and i'm going to start off with this leave-in conditioner this leave-in conditioner was not thick at all it felt so smooth and it just worked well in my hair my hair loved it and i'm honestly probably going to continuously keep using this conditioner because i love how it felt in my hair my hair absolutely um just looked moisturized and it just felt so good on my hair so this leave-in conditioner is a lightweight formula and it is made for type 4 natural hair it's supposed to add shine and prevent frizz and it definitely did that to my hair um, it also smells really really good like this smells so 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 good you guys and it states that it's supposed to be made for thick curly hair and the leave-in conditioner is the primer and then you can use any other, other other products in that line to add your final step and I'm going to use the twisting souffle as my final step but I just love that this leave-in conditioner is really lightweight and it was easy to work into my hair and it was easy to detangle with it as well. And no, this video is not sponsored. Meal Organics is not checking for a small YouTuber like me. I'm just saying. But I just really love the, their products from this line. So now let's get into twisting. So I'm just going to make a small part and then grab my section to twist. start off twisting with. And this section is about two fingers big or two fingers wide if that makes any sense so I kind of did my sections a little bit bigger this time and here is the twisting souffle this is thick y'all thick with two C's this thick y'all this is some thick um twisting souffle but honestly um I'm just gonna apply that to my hair and then I'm gonna get a dimming brush to further detangle that section for the twist and this twisting souffle was very moisturizing you know how when you um apply something and on your fingertips you can feel like the oil that's how this is like it just felt so moisturizing and honestly like i normally use gel for my twist outs but i didn't need it because this felt like it was so thick it honestly almost felt like it was a gel and it was a moisturizing gel and I hope I'm making sense but that's how it felt to me so let me tell you guys some facts about pomegranate um, that are actually beneficial for your hair that you probably didn't even know so pomegranate is packed with antioxidants which make your hair follicles stronger and it improves but blood circulation in the scalp which helps to stimulate hair growth like meal organic like i know what y'all doing i i see it y'all trying to promote hair growth and i love it because i need it like yes yes but it's pomegranate so now let's talk about honey and let's you know just spill out some facts so honey has the ability to promote cell growth so more cell growth more hair follicles more thicker hair more you know longer hair so okay pomegranate and honey is a good combination and not only is honey good for that but it's also good for conditioning your hair it's good to restore moisture most people already know that honey is good for moisture because it contains a lot of vitamins minerals amin amino acids and antioxidants as well but you know, if you're trying to use honey on your own, make sure you are reaching for the organic, unprocessed honey. And yes, I know I was being very sloppy when I was doing these twists. I didn't have any straight parts. I was just pulling hair down and making the parts or making the sections for the twist how I wanted them. It was not even and I did bigger sections this time as I mentioned earlier. So 
So now we have made it to the top of my head and I am going to wipe some of that white residue from the twisting souffle away and I'm just going to finish these twists and I'm just going to show you guys the results. Spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about so you guys I am all done and as you can see these twists are very spaced out um, I did not care about the parts and this is a um, on the right side is a before of when I did my twist out the first time and I had a lot more twists and it was a lot more close together just showing you guys uh, you know comparison so I am excited to see how this twist out is gonna turn out this time Alright, so my twists are all dry and honestly I tried to stretch my twists with bobby pins but it really didn't stretch them that much as I thought that it would stretch them. So um, you can do this part if you want but it didn't really work for me. But honestly it helped for my twists to not look crazy and all over the place. So because the bobby pins did not stretch my twist out like I wanted, you'll just see me kind of contemplating on whether or not I wanted to do the banding method to stretch my twist some more, but I ended up not doing that. So I'm going to use the Meal Organics um, Rosemary and Mint Strengthening Oil. Um, I did use this oil in my previous video and I absolutely love this oil and I'm going to try to use it as a daily use, but I'm just going to put that oil all over my scalp and just kind of rub it in and then I'm going to start untwisting the twist. I start at the root and then just drag my fingers down and unravel the twist. It is a lot faster to do it that way and a lot easier versus starting from your ends and untwisting it that way. And now I'm just going to just start separating my twist. I did a lot of separating and it took um, longer than usual. Um, I did not separate um, my twists this much in my last twist out video and it could be because my twists were a lot smaller and in this video I did fewer twists and um, bigger sections so I had a lot more to untwist here if that makes any sense because my sections were a lot bigger. Um, yeah, so you'll just see me untwisting, unraveling, untwisting, unraveling. Um, so just stay you know just stay here and keep watching Gonna be you and me. 
So I had grabbed the pick and I was trying to fluff out my roots. Honestly, I could not shape this twist out the way that I wanted it to look. It just looked very wonky and the shape just looked very weird to me. So I would, you'll just see me kind of just adjusting the twist and trying to fix it to how I want it to look. So, I promise I wasn't possessed, you guys. I was honestly just shaking my hair to get the right shape. So, it is sped up, so that is why it looks a little crazy. But, um, yeah, I still couldn't get that shape to save my life. But, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. And honestly, look, look at this definition.